One of my biggest pet peeves is that AI content creation isn't always factually accurate. Sometimes it's really inaccurate in the way it portrays the information. But today I found an AI that claims to be 100% accurate. Now I've given it a bit of a test and I have to say, I am quite impressed with it. So let's go check it out. Now where we are is in a Word document and I'm gonna be showing you the accuracy of this particular one. Now it created an 1800 word article from the little bit of information I gave this AI. And I have to say, I have in fact gone through this entire article from top to bottom and it is 100% accurate. I didn't have to change anything at all and I have to say I was highly impressed. In fact, I was so impressed that I even turned it into a picture video and I'm going to be uploading that a little bit later on and a little bit later on you'll be able to see that in the card above at the end of this video. So I plan on them roughly the same time so as you can also have access to check out what that video was like. Let's go and have a look at the actual software itself. We're in a place called Catab. Now Catab is or Catab Plus is in fact a factual AI. So what it does, it goes through the actual internet and looking for factual information. And from what I can see, the information that I've received in this particular article, it's an 1800 word article and it gave me really accurate information. Now I've got up to 15,000 words, not the characters, 15,000 words, which is pretty good. And it's only a very small amount right now. It's on sale at AppSumo. Let's have a quick look at that. Right now it's on sale at AppSumo and I will leave a link for this in the description down below. And it's, it won't necessarily be a link to this one, but all you have to do is just type in Catab and you'll be able to find it. So it's $29 US dollars that is, one time price, and you get access to this wonderful website. You can have a bit of a watch of the video there, but we'll be going through a little bit of the software anyway. Allows up to 15,000 words per month. AI original article writer, Facebook, Google Ad Generators, Fetch and Rewrite, articles with one click, product descriptions, article online promotional ideas, blog and uh, content summarizer, ports more than 60 languages, access to all features, updates and uh, so all future updates and features. Each additional code purchase 15,000 words. Okay, so it can't be, they claim it can't be stackable. So I'm not 100% certain as to whether it is or not, but it is $29. It doesn't have other features. It doesn't give you other prices. So that would be the reason why it's not stackable. This is Catab so far. So let's go and have a look at the actual site itself. All right, now what we need to do, I'm going to go over here to the dashboard section. And we're going to go into there. I'm just going to get rid of that one. Now we can go over here to Catab, which is the fact checked AI writer. So we can click on that. And we can also go down here and we can choose how many variations you want. And I'm going to just keep it at one. I'm going to be using that one. Now I'm going to be using United States as the geography. You can choose any one of these countries. It can actually be designed for your area if you wish to have it going to directly to them. So I'm just going to keep it the US. I mean, it starts off usually as a matter of fact. When I first did that, it started off as matter of fact. So it was very matter of fact how it was written. But I like to say, I'd like to keep this as friendly. You see, as a matter of fact, optimistic, professional. In this particular case, I want to make it friendly. I can make it first person, clicking on here. Third person, second person, or first person. I'm going to be making this one, I might make this one second person. No, third person, I'll do it as third person. Now you have the option to do this as paragraphs, listicles, question and answers, or emails. So I'm going to be making this one a paragraph. I could make a listicle. But I think in this case, we want to do this. And what you need to do is you want to write down what you wanted to ask about or, or find information about. In this particular case, the other one was about how to make money with PLR. I think in this particular case, I'm going to make this one how to edit PLR using AI. Okay, so I'm going to say how to edit PLR ebooks using AI. And I'm going to scroll down here. All we have to do is now hit generate. Now we can also give this a title. I might even just give it the same title, how to edit PLR eBooks using AI. I'm just gonna copy that. And I'll let it generate its own title. I'll let it generate its own title. So let's go and have a look here and see what it comes up with. Now this will take a little bit of time. And then once it's gone through here, it'll give us a list of different things we can look at. 
and then we can then choose to tick on the ones we want to add to the article. Now it's come up with 120 words in this particular case. Okay, let's have a quick read of this. Editing PLR eBooks with AI is a great way to quickly and easily create customized content. AI allows users to quickly rewrite articles and create new content that is unique and engaging and SEO friendly. Using AI for editing PLR eBooks can save time and money as it eliminates the need for manual editing. Furthermore, it helps to ensure that the content is up to date with current trends and standards. Editing with AI can also help to improve the quality of the content as it can detect spelling mistakes, grammar errors, and other issues that may be difficult to spot manually. Finally, using AI for editing PLR eBooks can help to make sure that the content is well-written and engaging. That is really good. Now I want to try this under listicles. Using the same thing, I want to now generate something under listicles. Now I could copy all of this and add that to a text box. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to be adding that to a Word document. I'm going to just chuck that straight into here. And then we will now go and try it with a listicle and see what it comes up with. It may rewrite, it may add it underneath it, but we'll have a quick look. We can also choose more than one variation if we wish to. Now this did it as the this particular one. So I'm going to pause the video while we wait. Okay, so here we are. You've got now a list of nine different things. What is PLR? How can, it, can you utilize it? Editing PLR eBooks with uh, Conversion AI or Jarvis, uh, which we probably want to change that to the new name because Jarvis is not allowed. How to use Photoshop to redesign an eBook cover. Yeah, okay. Spin Rewriter and other content editing methods. I don't think I would use that one. I'd probably go Quillbot. In this case, using PLR content to build this and get subscribers. Okay, so earning from blogging and editing and modifying your PLR articles. This is good. Now, I wonder if we can actually expand on this at all using this. Okay, it says rewrite. Actually, I'm going to rewrite this one. See what it comes up with. There are other methods of the content editing such. Editing such. Uh, I don't like that one. Let's now rewrite that. There are other types of content editing. All right, that'll do. So, and then you can add something about Quillbot if you wish to. And then you can go down and have it read throughout. It's not bad, not bad. Okay, so let's go and have a look at other things. Let's go over here to, oh, you also have AI art generator as well. And you can get to do up to five AI art generations per day if you wish to. I'm just going to go here to the dashboard for one moment. And we were, the one I found earlier was in fact to do with articles, long form articles. And that's where I got the, the long form article here it is, the long form article. This is the one that I actually use to create that. Now, this is where you add some extra information. Of course, you can add this how to edit PLR eBooks using AI. All right, that will do. And let's now have it generate the article for us. I'm just gonna pause the video while it does this because this one can take a little while because it is such a large amount of content it's gonna give us. Oh, hang on, I didn't have to. There we are. Now we can also expand on it, clicking on all of these different things here. And this will give us a much, much larger idea. Now, incorporating interactive elements into the ebook, quizzes and surveys. I'm gonna get rid of that one. I don't think we need that one. Finding professional services to do custom design work. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. But you can keep whatever you like here. Strategies for promoting your your edited PLR ebook online. Okay, and we can add a one here. Let's go conclusion and hit add. And with all this information you've got here, I mean, we can do this. We can leave that in there and we can leave that in there if we wish to, but I'm choosing not to have those ones. All right, so let's now go here and we will generate the actual one itself. And this will take a little while, so I will pause the video until it's finished. Now I will say what you probably could do if you wanted to is you could get the headline from each of the things in the listicle add that to this and create an entire ebook. But you want to be careful. You want to, do want to probably still make sure it is accurate. I'm not really 100% certain as I've never done that, but 15,000 words could easily create a ebook, no problem at all, especially a small one, which could be used as a guide. I'm going to just pause the video until it's finished. All right, we're back. Now it says here, how to edit PLR ebooks using AI. So you can have a look through here and have a bit of a read. Are you a content creator looking for ways to quickly and easily update your, your written material. Are you a digital publisher looking for ways to add fresh content to your website without hiring new writers? If so, then this blog post is just what you need. We'll explain how you can use AI technology to edit PLR eBooks, giving them a completely unique spin while still saving time and energy. So keep reading and get ready 
to learn how AI can help you level up your content. How good is that? And then you can go through and have a bit of a read. Now this is looking like a very long article. I had started off with a little bit under 2,000, I think it was about 2,000 words. This has now gone up to 5,000. So I'm assuming that this has written approximately two to 3,000 words. Now that's really good for a long form content. Let's have a bit of a read of this. I'm gonna go control A and see if I managed to get all of that. Yes, I did. Yes, good. Now I'm gonna now copy this. Now place this into a Word document. And we're now going to then count up all of the words. There we go, control A. And then I'm gonna go here to review. And we're gonna have a look at the word count. There we go. 3,183 words. That is amazing. That is completely amazing. Have a look at that. 3,183 words. Wow, that is cool. I don't think I've ever seen an AI create that much content in one sitting. Now, I didn't have to do anything else but what I showed you. And this is in the long form AI content creation. There we go, 18,554 words. Uh, yeah, words. No, characters I would think that is. 18,554 characters. How good is that? And you can also do proofreading if you wish to. I'm not really sure how that works. I've not tried it. So if I hold over the top of that, let's go proofreading and see what it does. Yep, yeah, it looks like it's pretty good. Okay, so this is Catam. You can also go through and have a look at other things here. You've got your article rewriter if you wish to. So you can actually, if you don't like the way, the way something's written, you can also do that. Let's go have a look at the AI art generator and click on that. And you can now go here and choose something here. Let's go cat sitting on a dog in a race and we'll call it, and we'll say surreal artwork. And we'll have a look and see what it comes up with. Hit that, we're allowed up to five generations per day. So this is my second one for the day. We'll have a quick look. There we are. That looks pretty good. Not necessarily surreal, but this is pretty good. Uh, that looks nothing like that. And that's just sitting next to a dog. But that one and that one are both pretty accurate for what I wanted. And the dog's in a race. <laughs> that's good. I like that. Okay, that's cool. Now let's have a look at other things you got here. You got my activities. You can have a look at your roadmap. Now the roadmap's pretty good because what it does it tells you what it's doing and what it's going to be doing up next. So you optimize AI articles for search engines, you browse extensions for writing, create AI content using an mobile, mobile app, create custom content template, you order human writing articles coming up soon, and also export content into WordPress. Well, that's good. That's coming soon. Add additional users to your content. Well, that, that's good. Plagiarism check-in. Checker is now live. Content proofreading is AI toolbar for content enriched and enrichment and proofreading is there. Kateb affiliate program is a lot is now live. Kateb plus AI fact checker real time update and localized AI writer is now live. And that is really, really cool. So this is what you get. Now let's go over here to the dashboard and let's have a quick look at the various things you can do here. Of course, we've done Kateb plus. You've also got Credible Writer, uh, content based on credible sources. So that gives you more fact checking if you wish. Cathead Assistant, you've got Article Rewriter, Summarizer, Long Form Articles, Blog Subheadings, Blog Intros, Featured Snippets, Facebook, Paraphrasing, Article Ideas, Brand Statements, Real Estate, Facebook, Product Description, Blog Outros, Ad Targeting Ideas for Facebook, About Us Page, Video Description, Pitch Deck, key sentence, P PAS formula, which would be something to do with copywriting, Twitter hooks, cons and pros and cons, song lyrics, email subject promotions, and promotional ideas, as well as blog outlines. And of course, you've got your affiliate program and also the roadmap, which we've already looked at. So that is Cathub. All right, guys, as I said, I will leave a link for AppSumo in the description down below. And once the AppSumo offer has finished, I'll, I'll leave the regular link in the description down below too. All right. Now, if you got some value out of this video, please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and also hitting the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, also while you're at it, why not consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this. All right, now over here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And right here is an image of my head. Now, if you were to click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching, and bye for now.